While President Biden visits Arizona today, he will leave without going to the border and has not personally visited the southern border since taking office. Adam Clapp reports from the wall as Yuma lawmakers say the administration's border policy is unclear. Hundreds of migrants illegally crossed into Arizona the morning of President Biden's visit to the state. You can see they've made makeshift fire pits just to keep themselves warm in these cold temperatures. But while the president stays in Phoenix, local lawmakers in Yuma say they've been left in the dark by his administration on what they plan to do to manage the local border crisis. No Border Patrol agents in sight early Tuesday morning as hundreds of migrants waited to be apprehended to seek asylum and a better future in the United States. I left Ecuador due to violence. My hope is for a good future and a better life here. Anywhere from 750 to 1,000 migrants cross into Yuma every day. I asked Daniel Moella if he believes the border is open or closed. During Joe Biden's presidency, Border Patrol has made over 4 million apprehensions. Per CBP yearly reports, since President Biden was inaugurated, local agents have apprehended more migrants in the Yuma sector than during the entire Obama and Trump administrations combined. Before his flight to Arizona, Biden explained why he wasn't visiting the border. Because there's more important thing going on. But Yuma lawmakers disagree saying they're not getting the resources or help they need from the federal government to manage the local border crisis. In county supervisors are concerned about the situation worsening when Title 42 ends. We anticipate an additional 500 to 600 roughly. The administration is not preparing a better way to, to, to process people. Can we draft a letter asking for the... Asking for what? The president to do something. Yuma's mayor, Doug Nichols, echoed the supervisor's concerns, saying he's not sure what will happen after the end of Title 42. Um, I've yet to hear of any plan. Title 42 is scheduled to end on December 21st. Reporting in Yuma, Adam Clef, News 11.